What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of From the Tips. Um, in today's video, we're gonna be doing another golf ball test. So today I have the Callaway Super Soft Max. So it's an oversized golf ball. Callaway over the past couple years have been experimenting with oversized golf balls. Um, they claim that it's more forgiving. Um, they originally called it the Magna, then the XL, and now they just call it the Max. So I'm gonna be putting it head to head um, with a regular size golf ball. This is the Titleist Pro V1. Um, couple critiques from the last golf ball review video. Uh, I'm gonna be hitting all these balls from the same spot. So I'm gonna be doing a two ball scramble. Just keeping track of kind of which balls I'm taking, like which shots I'm taking with each ball. Um, and then also kind of give you guys a review on ball flight, kind of how this ball reacts around the greens. Um, it's interesting. Um, the whole idea of an oversized golf ball Essentially, what it's saying is that the center of gravity, so the center of gravity on the bigger golf ball, it's gonna be sitting up a little bit higher. So it's gonna be, make it easier for you to get underneath the equator of the golf ball, making it easier to get the ball up in the air. Um, so we'll see if that's true. I feel like a bigger golf ball wouldn't necessarily be more forgiving just because slightly off center hits are now gonna be very off center because the golf ball is bigger um but we'll see what happens and uh let's uh let's just fire away at these All right guys, so I think those two drives will actually be a good indication of distance for these golf balls. Both of those were hit very similarly. Pulled them both, a little bit of a draw. Um, they should be around the same area, I would assume. Um, definitely, definitely very different ball flights. The um, Super Soft Max flew a little bit higher. Um, so I don't know if it's the equator of the golf ball making a difference, but it definitely flew a little bit higher seemed like it spun a little bit more um and then the titleist had a little bit flatter of a ball flight a little bit less spin it looked like so let's see how it compares with distance all right guys so got to the ball so this is the callaway ball in the fairway right here and just about three yards further up in the rough is the titleist so as of right now one up titleist but not by the uh, biggest of margins All right guys, so pretty big difference there. Um, so off the tee with the Titleist, the ball is kind of sitting down in the rough. So couldn't really get too far underneath the ball, bend it um, and land on the back of the green. And then with the Super Soft Max, um, I try to replicate that lie as best as possible. So I try to have it sit down, but because the ball is a little bit bigger, it's really hard for it to sit down. So it produces a lot of confidence. Um, and you just think that you can get underneath it and be able to get the ball out of any lie. And I hit that ball a mile in the air. So very different ball flights there. Um, and I'm gonna have to take the super soft on that one. Super soft ended up about, I don't know, 18 feet. And then the Titleist, I'm on the back of the green, probably about 30 feet. All right guys, so a couple good lag putts there. So I wouldn't give the advantage one way or the other. Um, the Super Soft Max feels really, really soft. Really good feeling. Um, it almost feels like just the normal Super Soft. I don't know if you guys have played that, um, but it's almost like a trampoline. It feels like almost like a bouncy ball off the putter. Some people like it, some people don't. Um, and then the Pro V just felt like a, like a normal premium golf ball. Um, so not really any advantage one way or the other there. One plus I would say about the Super Soft Max is that it didn't seem to sit up 
kind of over my blade. I didn't think that my blade was going to get underneath it. I didn't think I was going to like hit it up in the air at all. Um, the ball rolled really, really smooth. So no complaints there. So I don't know. So far, pretty good ball. very interesting there um, so this tee shot is right back into the wind um, again I hit those pretty similarly pulled them both again um, has nothing to do with the ball this the swing um, and the super soft max looked like it almost just kind of ballooned and then fell out of the sky so did not go nearly as far the Pro V1 was able to kind of cut right through the wind get a lot more distance out of it. Um, so advantage into the wind definitely goes to the Pro V1. All right guys, a couple six irons there. Um, interesting because again, it was kind of in the rough again hitting a six iron, I expected the ball flight on the max to be a lot higher, um, but it wasn't. It was actually, seemed kind of lower and almost like a knuckleball. Maybe I just caught a flyer, maybe the lie was just a little bit different, but thought it was a little interesting. They end up both going around the same distance, so I wouldn't give it an advantage one way or the other. Um, they're pretty much very, very um, comparable. Um, so now we're gonna have another wedge in, but now we're gonna have a better lie. So let's see how this ball reacts off the fairway with a wedge. All right, so obviously caught that first Pro V1 a little bit heavy, end up just short of the green. I'm just gonna hit another one, um, just so I can get a little bit more of a comparable shot. Yeah, so that second um, shot with the Pro V was obviously a lot better than the first, um, and it actually flew the distance I was kind of looking for it to go. One thing I noticed with the Max is it seems like it's not quite flying the same distance, but it doesn't have the same spin as um, the Pro V, so it rolls out to the same distance. So that's kind of like the way I think it kind of works is the total distance is going to be the same, carry distance is going to be a little bit shorter. Um, obviously I chunked my first um, Titleist shot, so Super Soft took this one um, with the wedge shot from the fairway. All right, just so you guys can have an idea of what I'm talking about. So first Pro V ended up at the front of the green. Second one landed about pin high, pins right there, and just trickled off to the back fringe. And then for the Super Soft, it ended up pin high, but it actually flew only about right there. So then it got that much roll out off a, a uh, little gap wedge. So definitely not the same spin numbers I'm looking for. So on the first hole, I couldn't really tell uh, much of a difference with the putting. Um, but after putting on this green right here, it's hard to explain, but the ball feels heavy. It like feels like there's just more mass behind it. It could be completely mental, um, but I felt like almost after I hit the putt that my putter recoils from like the amount of weight it's hitting. It's like, almost as if like you're hitting like a, a tennis ball or something. So weird feeling. Um, then obviously the Pro V1 came off the way I was expecting a golf ball to come off. Um, so not that the Super Soft Max is rolling poorly, cause it's not, it's rolling normal. Uh, it just feels a little weird off the face. All right guys, so here on number 12, um, pretty open fairway, we're downwind. So I think it's just a green light special. Just gonna rip a driver. Um, and like 
let's see if we can get a, a more accurate distance test. I'm gonna try to square both of these up as best as I can. All right, hit both of those very well. So this should be a really good test here. Um, I don't know, the, the Supersoft Max just doesn't feel the same off the face. The Pro V1 just explodes off the face. I know that I'm gonna be getting like maximum distance out of it. The Supersoft Max, like I hit that one out of the middle, it just seemed like it kind of just floated around. It didn't quite get the same distance, at least it felt like. Um, definitely felt like I got a slower ball speed off of it. Um, but we'll see. Maybe we got a little bit of roll. All right, guys, so got up to the fairway. Um, this is the Callaway Supersoft Max. And then way up there is gonna be um, my Titleist. And I just shot it with the rangefinder. It's 44 yards of difference. So definitely a big difference there. Um, so, I mean, I guess that was a really good test there. Um, 44 yards of difference. And I hit both of those balls out of the middle of the face. So I think that uh, that's pretty telling. All right, guys, got 95 yards to a back right pin. Um, need to carry that bunker. It's downwind as well. So not a lot of landing room over there. I uh, need this ball just to go high and land soft. So this will be a good test to see what the Super Soft is made of as far as spin control. Um, Pro V1's going first and then Super Soft's gonna be going after. All right, two really, really solid wedge shots in there. Um, Pro V1 reacted kind of how I thought it was going to, uh, probably just two yards short of the hole. Um, and then for the Callaway, again, it's gonna be around the same distance. So it looked like it flew a little bit shorter, released a little bit more. Um, but it's funny how just because the ball is slightly bigger, hitting off these tight lies, it makes a big difference because it feels like the ball's almost sitting up, like on a tee. So if you're someone who plays on a lot of tight, tight golf courses where the grass is cut really, really low and you struggle kind of getting any height on the golf ball, you kind of struggle compressing it. So you're kind of a flipper and you flip at the ball, struggle getting the ball up in the air. This ball could be for you. Um, it's not that big where it makes a huge difference. Um, but I'll tell you right now, it does look like the ball is sitting up significantly higher when it's on the fairway. All right, walking up to the green, Callaway's the first one up front, and then Pro V's right there. It looks like, honestly, the uh, the Callaway, even though it's shorter, Titleist is pin high, Callaway's shorter, but um, closer to the hole. So I'm gonna take this one, a little uphill. So yeah, again, guys, um, Super Soft Max just feels a little heavy off the putter. Um, and I lined that one up. I didn't line up the other putts on the previous holes. So I lined that one up and honestly, it just looks goofy. <laughs> it looks funny uh, just having that line in the middle of this giant golf ball. Um, not that it was hard to line it up. It just looked strange to me. Um, not something that I guess I couldn't get used to, but um, just looked funny. So, we're gonna be going on to um, last hole in this little review. So it's gonna be a par three. Gonna be about 150, 160 yards. It's a little mid iron um, and it's gonna be downwind. So it's gonna be testing its um, distance control. And we're also gonna get a look at the, a different ball flight off the tee with an iron. So let's see it. Alright, so Super Soft was pin seeking on that one. Probably pitched like 
two feet away from the flag and then rolled out to what looks like probably about 10, 11 feet. Um, and then with the Pro V1, again, yanked it a little bit. So I'm gonna be on the left side of the green. The advantage super soft there. Um, I'm gonna put these out and then I'm gonna drop a couple balls around the green, do a little wedge test, see how they react, different pitches, chips, and then bunker shots too. And then I'll wrap this video up, give you guys a full review, what I think of the ball and uh, who I think the ball is meant for. Right, guys so that's gonna sum up today's video um, just a little review of the the super soft max um, the ball itself pretty solid um, obviously an oversized golf ball looks a little bit weird at a dress but I think on tight lies it actually looks like the ball sitting up which can be a huge advantage to certain players um, the ball I mean performed like a pretty normal golf ball a normal low budget golf ball didn't have a ton of spin um, I was able to generate a little bit of spin um, out of the bunkers and then on the flop shot. So if you put enough speed into it, you can get the ball to spin a little bit. Um, obviously not as much as a Pro V, but that's why it's half the price. Um, so who do I think this ball is for? Beginners. Um, so people that struggle off tight lies too. Um, so people that struggle getting the ball elevated off tight grass. Um, I think this ball is perfect for you. Uh, it sits up in the rough pretty much every single time, so you're never gonna have a ball that's sitting down in the rough um, unless you're playing like Beth Page Black. Um, but yeah, I mean, I thought it was a pretty cool, pretty cool idea. Um, I'm gonna have to weigh the ball to see if it actually is heavier because it did feel a little bit heavy with the putter. Um, not really any other club. It didn't really affect distance at all, um, other than off the tee. Off the tee, I did notice the ball didn't quite go as far. So it could be the mass, it could be something else going on. Um, but with irons, it felt like it was flying about the same distance, um, maybe a little bit less, but the total distance was still the same. Carry numbers might've been a little bit different, but total distance was the same. Um, but pretty cool golf ball, guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. Until next time, guys, peace.